Welcome to OFAR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble the Hemniz TV bench from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a hammer. You can also use a drill with a Phillips or PosiDrive bit to speed up the assembly process. So first, let's start off with assembling the drawers. Grab this front piece and put in this orientation. Also grab these four screws from bag one and screw them into these four holes. Then grab two of these side drawer pieces and put them into this orientation. Also grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now connect both side drawer pieces like this. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. It's going to look something like this. Now insert the bottom of the drawer as shown. Then grab the back drawer piece and connect it like this. Next, grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Now flip the drawer over like this. Next, grab the DL and DR drawer slides and four of these small screws. Now go to the left side of the drawer and place the DL drawer slide on like this. Then secure the drawer slide with two screws. Then repeat the same step for the other side with the DR drawer slide. Next, flip the drawer over and grab one knob and screw. Then secure the knob using the screw. It's going to look something like this. Now repeat the same steps related to the drawer two more times. After assembling the three drawers, grab these two leg pieces and put them into this orientation. Just make sure the grooves are facing inwards. Also grab the right and left drawer slides and six of these screws from bag two. So for this leg piece, place the drawer slide that is marked with an L like this. Then secure it using three screws. The screws will be going into these three holes. Then for this leg piece, place the drawer slide that is marked with an R like this. Then secure it using three screws. The screws will be going into these three holes. Next, grab eight of these screws and screw them into these eight holes. The end product will look something like this. Then grab this long piece that doesn't have any grooves in it and put in this orientation. Also grab one dowel and hammer it into this hole. Now connect this long piece like this. Just make sure the pairs of holes are in this position.
Next, grab a fastener and secure it into this hole. Now grab the other three long pieces and put them into this orientation. Also grab three dowels and hammer them into these three holes. Then connect this long piece as shown. Now connect the other two long pieces like this. Now grab three fasteners and secure them into these three holes. Then grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now connect the other leg piece like this. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then grab these two pieces and put them into this orientation. Just make sure these corners are in this position. Also grab two drawer slides that are marked with an R and six of these small screws. Now place both right drawer slides on like this and secure each of them with three screws. It's going to look something like this. Now flip both of these pieces like this. Then grab two drawer slides that are marked with an L and six of these small screws. Then secure each left drawer slide with three screws. It's going to look something like this. Next, grab two dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Now flip the TV bench frame like this. Then attach both pieces like this.
Now grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Next, flip the TV bench frame as shown. Then grab 8 dowels and hammer them into these 8 holes. Now grab the top panel and put in this orientation. Also grab 6 of these screws and screw them into these 6 holes. The end product should look something like this. Then grab 2 brackets, 2 washers, and 2 small pointy screws. The brackets will be secured into these 2 holes. It's going to look something like this. When you're fully securing both brackets, just make sure they are flush with the edge of the panel. Now connect the frame to the top panel like this. Then grab 6 fasteners and secure them into these 6 holes. Next, grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Just make sure you don't go too far in with the screws. Now flip the TV bench like this. Next, grab the backing and place it on as shown. Now grab 8 of these screws and metal pieces and secure them into these 8 spots. To secure the metal piece, place one half over the wooden frame and the other half over the backing. Then secure it with one screw. The end product should look something like this. Now place the TV bench against your intended wall. Unfortunately, IKEA only gives you two washers to secure the TV bench to the wall. You'll have to buy your own wall screws and anchors. If you want to see how to secure IKEA furniture to drywall properly using the same brackets, then I'll leave a link with the timestamp in the description below. Now grab 12 of these shelf pins and insert them into these 12 holes. You'll be inserting the shelf pins like this.
Next, grab three shelves and place them onto the shelf pins like this. Then put the three drawers in. Now check that the drawers open and close relatively smoothly, but if you followed all these steps, then you shouldn't have any issues. So you should now have a fully assembled Hemnes TV bench from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.